government. Phoenix Oluoch, KTN News. Now, when the ongoing heavy rains began pounding the country, the residents of the prestigious Runda estate did not picture themselves as victims of the resultant floods. However, weeks into the rain, some parts of Runda remains marooned, with some residents resorting to boats as their new means of transport in and out of the palatial homes. KTN's Catherine Imuraget spent two days in the Porsche estate and now tells the story of the flooded Runda, where the rich also cry. This is a place of the house, the rich, the wealthy ones. Every time you get here, you are welcomed by calmness, fresh air and elegant mansions, a true marvel of architecture. This is Runda, the evergreen posh estate that spans 14 square kilometers in the Kenyan capital of Nairobi and the neighboring Kembu County. In this neighborhood, you rarely find people who walking randomly, let alone the flood stories like the ones emanating from Madhari. Kibera and Mukuru Kwanjenga. Despite the elegance for the first time, Ronda has unfamiliar and unwelcome visitor that has taken away the tranquility of this area. The floods are also here. We made a visit here and that was interrupted by the water. We had no option but to hop out of the car and find an alternative solution for transportation. <laughs> These boats. We pull the anchor towards the other side to assess the real situation, but the water became too much for us. We turn a corner and go to the second house, but the situation persists. Water everywhere, causing a lot of losses. Mention not the fancy cars and collateral products that have been in this water for close to a month now. We are back here for day two, hoping to find reduced water levels shock on us from one house to another the mode of transport is the same the means is the same too these boats here many houses here are maroon but some residents have remained put camping in the water the residents who requested anonymity seem to have an explanation for the current state of runda they say the dam that was previously used to drain water has been turned into a private farm spelling doom for them we're just wondering after so many years of not experiencing any kind of floods this time all of a sudden we're hearing that houses are flooding on this section of ronda it must be because someone has blocked the waterways they add that despite their complaints to the ronda association their cries have not been heard their efforts to try to get water out of their homes have not been fruitful the Runda Water Association that runs this association, they say they're going to do something, but uh, very quickly when the water goes down, they forget it. And um, they say that the big plan that is behind, which is supposed to drain the water in, is now a private property, uh, and they cannot do anything about it. The residents have called on the county and national governments to intervene and give them a permanent solution. So we are requesting the county government, we are really requesting that they give us a full drainage system such that when this water comes into the dam, it has an outlet. Now the dam currently doesn't have an outlet. The outlet is our home. And Even as Karura Mudaiga MCA Fiu Nafiu urged them to be extra careful as they stare at a possible outbreak of waterborne diseases. And as you have seen, rainwater has mixed with the, the sewage water. So that means water in Runda is contaminated. So for residents of Runda, you should take care when, uh, when you should take a precaution when you are taking your water from the taps. As we pedal our way out of Runda, the heavy rains and floods have confirmed the thing that big buildings hide things and also a person is a personality. This tent you see behind me is a place where this family used to spend most of their daytime catching a cool breeze of Runda and probably catch up with the family but now it has been submerged with water they can't even access to their homes. Catherine Imuragate K10 News in Runda Estate, Nairobi.
Right, thank you, Catherine, for that report. Moving on, emotions ran high.